Hey guys, get ready with me. Today's just gonna be a really boring day. I think we're just gonna go to a bunch of different shops, go to Bunnings, go to Kmart, just go everywhere. And you guys are gonna like my slime video, so I think I'm gonna buy some shaving cream so I can make like fluffy slime and get like the right glue though. I'm gonna get the Elmer's glue this time because the glue I got last time did not work. When I did my makeup yesterday, it looked so good, so I need to try to do like the exact same steps because I want it to look the exact same. I'm also going to try to do my own acrylics. I used to do them all the time, but I've stopped, so hopefully I still know how to do them. I think I'm going to do like Christmas nails, and I want to go get like an LED lamp for like the gel polish. When I opened it up, it was filled with like a bunch of these like two-in-ones. It was called like a shine and soap. I'll show you guys it in a minute, but I don't know. I'm really confused. I think somebody stole like the actual LED lamp and just like chucked a bunch of those in it, so it like wasn't empty. Okay, so this is the lamp, and this is like what it was filled with. I've still got the receipt, so hopefully we have time to return it today. I was going to get my hair done with my sister, but I don't know if I like the place I'm getting it done at the moment. I feel like they're like really thick highlights. So let me know if there's any good places on the sunny coast. Also, my hair looks so bad. Our hair straightener broke while the dog actually chewed the cord of it. So I don't have a hair straightener. I feel like I want the hairy one, but me wants the GH do, and I don't know which one's better. My lashes look so long yesterday, and I used this mascara. It's so good. See, look how long once her half is in my room, she's stolen my AirPods. There's a little hair in my eye and I cannot see it. Okay guys, I did my lashes and I got the hair out of my eye finally. I've got like a dot on my chin. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I don't really know what that is. Oh, okay. Sorry guys. Last night I was born and I was able to do my eyebrows and look what she did to me. She full on They look good. Me. You guys didn't see them before. It was horrendous, but I made them pretty. Hey guys, that was my get ready with me and I'm going to film one of those like silent lip product reviews. Bye guys! Loves, let's get ready for the day together. Oh my gosh, so I've been seeing like the Beyonce tour concerts all over my view page. And I'm so, so sad that I didn't buy a ticket. <laughs> I really wanted to go. Like I've literally never been to a concert because I just wasn't interested in any other music person except for Beyonce. <laughs> I just love her so much. But the thing is, she first like announced her tour this year. And also doing my quinceanera, like big six, sweet 16 thing. That's going to be like a quinceanera. Anyways, so I asked my parents, I was like, please, please. Just only like a hundred pounds for a ticket, please. And they were like, no, you've got to pick either your quinceanera or Beyonce and I was like how how can you pick between those two I was so sad I ended up picking my you know quinceanera because that's only gonna happen once in a lifetime but now that Beyonce is doing this I'm actually so scared that it's gonna be her last time because I've literally always wanted to see her like that's my been my dream I asked my parents like I'll pay for my ticket I'll pay you back they're like no you've got to pay for like your dad's ticket and then food and then fuel and everything you're gonna have to pay for and I was just like I can only do so much you know but again I kind of get my parents because my party is obviously something like, really big they are like working their bums off to be able to pay for it but like you can't also blame me for being sad it was like the worst time to choose between those two things also do you see my skin do you see my forehead like there's like no bumps on it i used to have those bumps i started using this it works incredible for me but i do have a couple blemishes like here 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 they're not spots but they're blemishes because i've been picking at my face the well the reason that i'm doing it now was because my skin has just been looking really nice like any little thing i just want to get rid of oh another reason you should put sunscreen on is that it makes your skin literally glow so put it on my ones to do with Everclar from la roche posay i love I love it. I love a lot But anyways, I am done now. So I love you all so much. Have a good day. Bye. Hey guys, good morning. And let's get ready to go to school. As you can see, I'm dressed up in my very surfer attire. So today we have a pep rally and it's for bikers versus surfers from Team Beach Movie. And you know, I had to do surfer. I literally did not sleep at all last night. I woke up at three in the morning and I did my lash extensions last night, but I took them out at three in the morning because they were falling out and I was tired of it. I'm so excited for the weekend. So, um, if you guys remember my friend Avery from a few videos ago, it's actually one of my pin videos. Basically, she invited me to go to a cabin with her and her family this weekend. Oh, I think I put too much. But, um, it's like really exciting because it's a cabin near the beach and we're gonna go on a boat and it's like, it's gonna be so fun. If I have Wi-Fi over there, I'll try to make it get ready with me, but I'm not gonna be sure. Also, I kinda did this a little too dark. I'm gonna mix it with more moisturizer. Literally, today's gonna be so fun because um, we have like a different schedule when there's pep rallies so that means that classes are going to be shorter because the pep rally is at the end of the day and I literally cannot stand my first period so I'm so happy it ends in like 25 minutes instead of 45. 
I want to try to look super glowy today because like, you know, surfers and they don't really wear that much makeup because, you know, they're at the beach surfing. So, yeah. Then again, I always say I'm not going to wear that much makeup and I end up doing the same makeup routine every single day. This one lady is still giving me hate comments and just say how like, you don't need to wear too much makeup. You think you're a star. The girls these days think they're a star. But like, girl, you literally like look like you wore a little bit too much makeup back in your day. And it caught back up to you. Like, at least I know I'm taking care of my skin, so why does it matter? I don't want my makeup to be as full covered as usual. Usual, So I'm just going to use this, like, oh shoot, tinted serum, but I didn't want to get on my white shirt. This week actually went by really slow for not having school on Monday. I'm going to, like, fake a tan, but I'm actually going to get one this weekend. I, I literally can't wait. I haven't been to, like, a beach in so long, let alone a boat. I haven't been on a boat in, like, a year. Because last time I was on a boat, I was at the Keys, and that was, like, the best summer ever i'm also gonna watch the new season of outer banks like over there so i haven't started it because i want to watch it with my friend um at the cabin let me know what your plans are for the weekend i would love to know let me know if you guys have plans for the weekend also i literally find my concealer placement like so funny this blush is like so cute i'm contemplating on putting white on my nose but i don't think i'm gonna do that it's only fitting to use my hula bronzer now i'm just curling my lashes I'll tell you what everything is from. So my top is from Target. This Hawaiian top is from Amazon. The Slay is from Party City. American Eagle. And then Kendra Scott Boutique. Boutique. And then that's it. All I'm wearing. I'm bringing this light just in case, but that's basically it. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Get ready with me for family photos. I'm finally making a dent in this toner. Every time we take family photos, something goes wrong. There's seven people in my family, so to get us all in one picture and everyone looking good is so hard. The younger brothers always like to bother one another. With this type of thing, my little brother always ends up pouting and not wanting to be in the picture. Because my other siblings love to annoy him. Last year this happened, and let's just say there weren't a lot of good pictures to choose from. I need redemption from our last pictures. All my makeup's gotta be looking good. Pictures are at 5, and it's 12 now, but I'm getting ready early because I have stuff to do. I have a Christmas party with my friends. Here, this, I'm gonna go get a white elephant gift. But I don't know what to get for that, so I think the price range is just like $30. So let me know if y'all have any ideas. I also have some last minute Christmas shopping I'm gonna do, and I'll come back and do my hair for pictures. I want my nose to be super snatched. Assuming history will repeat itself, I need to be looking good in every picture because we might not have a lot to pick from. Do all siblings fight like that too. We're always a family who's causing a scene in public, or at least my siblings are. Sometimes I swear I'm the only sibling who knows how to behave. Just have to clean up my mascara, getting some last minute blush. That is it for my makeup. I'm gonna go do my errands and uh, yeah, then we'll have pictures. Bye guys, love you. Ya está haciendo tanto frío. Tengo una camisa manga larga y tengo un saco encima. Ayer mi mamá me dijo que no puedo ver amigos de lunes a jueves hasta que tenga mis notas. Hasta que las mejore porque no me está yendo muy bien en el colegio. Hoy tengo un examen de matemáticas en mi primer periodo. Entonces tiene que ir bien en este examen porque no creo. Ustedes saben que me encanta el Frillian Splash, siempre lo uso. Y mira lo que compré, ya no estoy usando el de Nars, estoy usando el de Dior. Algo que no me gusta es cuando me tomo una foto y solamente mi cara se ve bien, no solamente mi cuerpo se ve bien. O sea, tengo que decir si mi cara se ve lo suficientemente bien para que no importa que mi cuerpo se ve mal o lo opuesto. La semana pasada yo les había contado que el viernes fui a una cena con mi amigo y sus papás y mis papás y nos ha estado yendo bien. Entonces, bueno, el sábado vamos a ir a la playa con su amigo, porque su amigo también es amigo mío. Bueno, más o menos. Yo no soy muy cercano con él, pero nos llevamos bien. Entonces, vamos a ir a la playa, él y su novia, y mi amigo y yo. Miren el desorden que tengo en mi cuarto, o sea, no es tan grave, pero para mí sí, porque normalmente no lo tengo así de sucio. Ok, ya estoy lista, me voy al colegio. Chao. Get ready with me for school. It is 4.16 in the morning, and... I do not want to go to school. I'm gonna comb through or brush through my hair because it's bothering me as much as it's bothering you. Hopefully that's a little better, but I don't know. I put my hair back in these clips and I look stupid, but it's okay. I honestly don't really like want to do school at all today, but I think it'll be okay. Today is an odd day, so I have intro to business, I have gym, English, and art. I don't really know how to use this setting powder still, but it's okay. It'll it'll figure itself out. I've literally been awake since like 12.30 in the morning. I don't really know why I've been up for so long, but I woke up at 12.30 and I couldn't fall back asleep, so yeah. I'm getting my eyebrows done today at like 
5 o'clock, I think. And that's exciting because I haven't gotten them done since, like, November. Why did I say November like that? That was so, like, mm. Mascara has, like, the biggest power in my makeup. One last outfit that I can salvage before I have to wash my clothes. And, yeah. There's this white girl. Like, there's obviously going to be a white girl. But, like, there's this white girl in my gym class. And her TikTok is so fucking cringy. Like, her old profile name at the top used to be, I know I have pretty eyes. Like, get over yourself. But she changed it and it's even worse. Right now it says I know I'm short, but she's like literally taller than me. And I don't consider myself short because I'm like 5'3"-ish. So, what? She also plays volleyball on the school volleyball team. And a lot of the team, actually almost all of the team, says that she's not even good at playing. Which is so funny considering how nice they are to her face. Like, what? It's even more funny because her whole personality is that she plays volleyball. So, like... If your whole personality is that and you're not even good at it, it's funny. Also, someone from my old Get Ready With Me account followed my Instagram and commented, like, what's your Get Ready With Me account TikTok name? Because it got banned, and I was like, oh, it got banned. But I don't want to tell them, like, my new one because people from my school follow that Instagram account. So if they see this account, they're going to be like... I used to be that little girl who was, like, everybody's friend. And, like, honestly... It's not worth it. Get a group of friends that you're close to and just leave it at that. So today, first thing in the morning, I have to go see the guidance counselor lady. And I'm actually kind of nervous because I haven't seen her in like two weeks. I'm going to re-straighten my hair like before I have to go. But not right now because I have three hours until I have to leave. If I feel like it, I'll make a get dressed with me video. So... Have a great day, guys. I love you so much, and yeah. Hey guys, get ready with me to go Christmas shopping for my friends and for myself. Well, maybe. Starting Christmas shopping now, cause I feel like I'm late now. So my plan is like some cute clothes, some cute things, jewelry, and of course, skincare and makeup. Also, I've been using my favorite Peter Thomas Roth eye patches like i'm almost out these are the water drenched ones and i use them like almost every morning because i need my under eyes moisturized especially in the morning before class this is my lifesaver okay i'm gonna finish my hair and wait like 15 minutes okay hair done and the eye patches like you see what i'm talking about also since it's so cold now my skin's been getting so dry and i've been pulling out my water drench moisturizer along with the eye patches and guys it saves me every time and i've talked about this one before it's just perfect their whole water drench line and especially my favorite moisturizer from them it's just so nice honestly look at that glow and moisture it just hydrates and it's so lightweight the perfect texture it even helps me so much with my makeup because i need that glowy base especially now for the cold times and it just locks in the moisture and i even have the mini one to take with me on the go this is so cute like i just pull it out you guys know i share the things i truly enjoy myself so here's the finished look, and if y'all want to check them out for yourself, they're at Ulta and their official website. So I'm off to shopping, and I'll see y'all. Hey guys, do my skincare with me. In order to do my skincare recently, I literally like have to put my hair in a half of down, just so it's out of my face. Okay, first I use the Ordinary Glycolic Acid, and this stuff is like actually my favorite thing ever. It makes your skin so smooth and just gets off like anything that like your cleanser didn't get for some reason. Also, I've been using self tan recently. I've been using like the Isle Paradise Water. And if it ever looks like bad or like is like patchy in area or something, like this literally takes it off. It's so good. Okay, and I'm literally like at the mall like 30 minutes ago. I bought the new, or this like isn't that new. The ordinary like barrier like pink serum. And I'm pretty sure she goes to this. It's like this girl that I follow on here uses like the exact same products and she puts them on right after. So yes, this is kind of gonna be like my first impressions, but I also do think this is something that like you don't really know if it's good until you use it over time. But I also just kind of love the fact that it's pink. Like, that's so cool. And someone explained to me, like, why it's pink, though. Like, what makes it that color? Okay, that feels nice. Can't really say much about it yet because I literally just use it for the first time. But then I go in with the Good Molecules Discoloration Serum just to get rid of any, like, dark spots that I have. I don't know. I've been using this for, like, the past um, two weeks, and it's really good. Look, like, I had a really bad dark spot right here, and it's basically, like, completely faded now. So, this stuff, like, actually... Okay, and my favorite part, I spritz my face with the Tower 28 spray. And I use snail mucin because this stuff has become my holy grail. I think I got it, like, right around when school was starting. 
maybe not, I don't know, it might have been earlier or later, but I've been obsessed with it ever since. Like, these two products, I literally already bought seconds because I'm terrified of running them because they're so good. Like, look, these are my full ones that, like, for backup. And then we're going with the caffeine solution from The Ordinary. I also just started using this, but honestly, like, I think it's working. I put it on every morning and night because my dark circles are so, so bad in the winter. And then I normally put an eye cream with that. I use a different one in the morning. I use an inkless one in the morning, but right now I use, like, a natrium, what's it called? eye cream because it's more like hydrating and then the other ones for brightening so i use it in the morning i also want to use moisturizer which i also like switch up a lot depending on the day but the one i've been using most often recently is the tower 28 sos one because it's just really hydrating and good for winter okay that's my skincare bye guys ready me for school last day until christmas break so i have school up until like Wednesday and Thursday. I don't have school on Fridays and I'm not gonna go Wednesday and Thursday because we are absolutely doing nothing Also, look at the Christmas colors. Christmas is like my favorite holiday ever I'm just so excited for Christmas morning with my family Like it's just something I always will remember as a kid being like so exciting to me and my brother is back home from college So I'm just like so excited I have to tell my mom not to watch this because I like want it to be a surprise for her But I literally filled her stocking all the way up and I've never done this for my mom Like I just never really thought about it because she's always filling my stocking up all the way where things can't even fit so this year that's what i'm gonna do for my dad don't worry i also got him like three things that i'm just gonna put in his stocking but come on like guys are like kind of hard to shop for also when i said we weren't doing anything this week like we actually aren't even doing anything at all yesterday in my de college class we were literally making like little christmas cards for like elderly people i'm not really exactly what it was for but we were doing that so literally not even missing anything like important if i missed the last two days i think i only have like one assignment that needs to get in for like my history but that's it Homer. hey poodle also you guys we had to take like a citizen citizenship okay <laughs> citizenship test sorry about that in order to like actually graduate um you have to pass it so i was freaking out because on that test literally all history and i like took a college history last year which was really hard i had to study like every night for it and guys i literally ended up passing the test like with a 52 out of 54 i'm like actually so proud of myself for that you guys this is my favorite song it's called over and over by elevation rhythm i love it so much holy that's who you are it's power to hurry because i'm gonna be late today it was already late yesterday so we gotta go i hope you guys have a blessed day jingle bell jingle bell jingle bell rock a jingle bell swing and yeah, jingle bells ring snowing and blowing a bushels of fun now the jingle hop has begun this off for a little bit but let's talk about it today why i dropped my sorority and when i dropped my sorority for some context if you don't already know i'm a senior at auburn university because i'm a senior this year this means when i rushed freshman year it was the peak of the pandemic 2020 and every part of my rush experience was online besides bidet so i never experienced a fully traditional sorority recruitment honestly it was kind of weird the way it was set up it started off with a video you had to submit a video of a quote that inspired you or a person that inspired you and why and you just had to talk to a camera and submit a video my video was really awkward i watched it back this semester because one of my friends asked to see it it was really bad it was before me talking to tiktok every single day basically how the the first round worked was you also saw the videos that each of the sororities put out and they watched your videos as well and you would rank the sororities and the sororities would rank you you were dropping each other without even ever meeting them in person and dropping from the sorority side also has to do with grades where you're from and a couple of other demographics oh and how you look i know that's really fucked up but that's just how the whole process is with greek life they will drop you based on how you look first round i did get dropped by a couple of the alabama in-state favoring legacy favoring sororities i went into recruitment completely blind i only rushed because my two best friends from home were rushing and i was going to an sec school so i was like okay i probably should rush the majority of girls are let's just see how it goes because of this i didn't know any of the reputations of the sororities or what people said about them which i think was pretty good as i got to pick houses based on where i had genuine conversations and the girls that i really liked i'll say the process was a little bit weird over zoom and kind of hard to do because a lot of girls would talk over each other because we were in four person breakout rooms with two girls who were already in the sorority so you had to really try and get your words in other than that the experience honestly went really good for me 
I had my top house back every single round, I don't know how, and then I eventually got a bid from them and I was so happy. Probably thinking, Hannah, if it went so smoothly, why did you drop? The first thing that triggered it was my parents wanted me to transfer to a different school, an in-state school, and if I wanted to rejoin the same sorority at that school, I had to drop before initiation. Then once I realized I wanted to stay at Auburn and I had made friends, I realized that all of my friends that I had made were not from the sorority, they were all from my dorm. I honestly think that part would have been so different if it wasn't COVID and it was just normal college, I think that would have been so different, but we're barely doing anything in the sorority and I didn't want to keep paying dues for something I wasn't participating in. Showed up to one in-person event they put on, that was the only one and I literally got COVID at that event. Reason number two, no hate to anybody from my hometown, but I did not know this was going to happen, but when I got to the gates at bid day, majority of people I saw were from my hometown and they're all super, super sweet girls. It's just that I wanted to join a sorority to make new friends and like branch out. I did end up meeting a couple of girls who I love that were from out of state. The comment I'm replying to on this video is actually from one of those girls that I absolutely loved, but she ended up moving back to California. To give you kind of a timeline on when I dropped, it was right before initiation, so I think it was about the one and a half to two month mark. And for the ex sorority reveal, I pledged Pi Beta Phi. But yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this little piece of information about my freshman year time. And to conclude this, like I really don't regret dropping at all. I've had such an amazing college experience without being in Greek life. Okay, love you. Bye.